remember it like it was yesterday. There I was, just another Italian gumshoe, plumbing his way through a thick sea of whatever you want to imagine. I was thinner back then, with less spaghetti in my belly, but just as much trouble on my plate. It was bomb arms with short fuses and quick coopers with something to prove. Didn't matter to me. They all had it coming. Just a matter of time. The air outside the castle was crisp, with a bite like an old dog. A single, hollow knock echoed its way through the empty rooms. No answer. So I let myself in and made my way to the bar. Just as I'm getting comfy, some big lug walks up and starts barking at me. He's looking for a reason to swing, but I've got other plans. I finish my drink, grab my hat, and make my way out the door. What was I doing in this part of town? I must have forgotten to take my mushrooms again. Stupid. I get angry when I forget my mushrooms. I get mean. Bad things happen. This time wasn't any different. I was standing over some new mess, the same old pain pulsing through my meat hooks. I needed help. I woke up in the lobby, and it all came back to me like a rush of adrenaline. I had business, and I needed to stay sharp. The moment she wandered through my door, I could tell she was a real femme fatale. She had a sophisticated look about her. This dame was all business. Fell into a mess with a klepto she met in shifting sandlands. Heard it all before. I go to light my cigarette when she lets slip there's a Johnny with a bad attitude looking to set her straight. I tell her not to worry. I tell her it's gonna be all right. I pull my metal cap from under the desk. Her smile was the sort of thing you'd only see in the pictures. With legs so long they made you dizzy. I ask her name. She says I can call her Peach. Should have retired to Rainbow Road when I had the chance. The rookie toad wasn't exactly the sharpest. He had his moments. But I was done babysitting. Stay out of my way if you know what's good for you, kid. Just as I'm finishing up my business in dire, dire docks, I hear a familiar voice whisper in my ear. Could it be Peach? Could she know that I'm here? There was little for me to go on, but I knew she was in trouble, and I had to hurry if I wanted to find her in one piece. There's a scream from upstairs. Just hold on a little longer. There's time, but I can feel the castle walls closing in around me. He stood there, a hundred stories tall with razor sharp teeth that could cut through bone like butter. Run, I said to Peach. Get out of here. I knew this wasn't going to be pretty, and the big lizard didn't waste any time. She didn't look back, and I don't blame her. One less Italian gumshoe 